the reason why I'm really here is to try to figure out how I could potentially take what I think is the best herring, marinated Danish herring in the world and translate that into a Japanese recipe. So I've been a sushi chef for 20 years and one of the food I have eaten a lot as a, growing up in Denmark is herring and herring is really big in Danish traditions and particularly around celebrations we eat at the big herring buffet. So I've always been very curious how I could translate the eating of herring into a Japanese cuisine but I always find it very challenging because the marinades are very hard. So I really wanted to come to Bornholm where they make the best herring in Denmark in my opinion. They are smaller, more dense Baltic herrings um, and they, they're very strong on flavours but how you could potentially translate that. There's no doubt that maybe the vinegar is a bit too much and I need to cut that down back but it's, been, it's really interesting to be here and see it and talk to all the people who has the history and the traditions behind it um, and how you can play with that in a modern, modern twisted Japanese version. I've seen how long they actually marinate the herring from for before they actually add the flavors and I think there's some really good step-by-step -step aspects in that but I think some of the curing process maybe can be cut back and then in terms of the flavors there's some really interesting combinations which could definitely work with a Japanese particularly seaweed based kind of, of, of flavor. We have really good herring, MSC herring in the UK and how can we as chefs, UK chefs, reinvent that so we eat this fish that's plentiful, really healthy and which we traditionally, traditionally was eating in the UK and Ireland and, and Scotland as well. But it's a fantastic source of omega-3 and how can we be part of that? I prefer not importing so much fish, I want to use the UK MSC fish so I look at what's available and how that could potentially be used across our menu at Feng Sushi, so that I think that's really interesting and that's a challenge for a chef and it's a great challenge. I think the recipe I would like to work on is definitely taking the, the core cure down to maybe two three days and then I would like to do work with, with a, a, a kind of um, flavoring that's based on a nori and kombu and kombu dashi and maybe even some dry shiitake, so do a dry rub like they do to add to the herring but with the Japanese flavors in there and see where, where we end up. It's about taking it back to the classic Japanese combined with the classic Nordic and how that could marry and still be relevant. Obviously they can't give away the recipe but being a chef you do get a lot from a visit like this so I would obviously not steal their recipe but I can definitely see the processes and how it could be maybe tuned into Japanese food. Really want to reinvent herring. Uh, we have beautiful MSC Hasting herring and we want to reinvent it for the UK market and if I can be part of that then I'm pretty happy. So what I've been working on is to, is to get uh, the more sort of subtle, delicate flavor of the herring. Um, and I think we succeeded at that. Um, so we're going to have on the menu now uh, the uh, soba broth, um, yep. soba and daikon broth with, with poached herring. Uh, it's really subtle, delicate, very warming, uh, complex carbohydrates, uh, omega-free, low in fat, uh, just what you need when the cold starts setting in. Uh, for the stock I'm using uh, kombu dashi and uh, mirin and a bit of soy sauce and then I'm really like letting the muli and the herring doing the talking. The herring um, I decided to do it uh, for an hour sole because I just want to be extra sure that, that um, I kill any bacteria on, on the fillets and then vinegar for an hour uh, and that I think is, gives it a really nice delicate flavor. like the sashimi yeah I think it really works well I think it's very delicate um, and, and we serve it together with mackerel so so it's not such a you know it's not such a big challenge potentially for someone who hasn't tried herring before they do something they're more familiar with so well so we do half herring half mackerel